Hello everybody, it's Julia here coming to you today, um, not from my friend Kim's room or grandparents' house or anything, we're coming to you from a giant supermarket. Ooh, um, if you live in other areas, they're, they're sometimes called Giant Foods, sometimes they're called Giant Eagle, it's the same company. Um, they have Wi-Fi in there. Um, in their little seating area up here called, yeah, I think it's called the Marketplace Cafe. Ooh. Um, but, you know, we, uh, we ended up going out for dinner, go, went to a Mexican place, so, you know, in a good mood. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do my normal two videos today. And um, the first video, uh, the topic is uh, passing, whether you do or not, and um, what your feelings are about it and um, what you've experienced and um, think about not passing and going through everything too. Um, I have to tell you that right now I pass like a hundred percent. I mean not if I have like three days of growth on my face that then no I would not pass. I would, people would probably look at me and go wow. Um, but at most I have a feeling people will just think uh, um, a woman with a problem, with a, with, you know, with a hair problem. I don't know. Um, or might just think I'm, you know, Italian or something. Oops, did I say that? Yeah, well, some Italian women do have that problem, um, but I don't want to stereotype. Um, but, hey, it's people like that that make it a little teeny bit easier for people like me, uh, people like us, to pass. Um, so that, that, as much as, you know, it's not exactly the best thing for a woman, it helps us a little bit. I mean, I worked with a woman, um, I think I've mentioned her, uh, over at Boston Market. She was like five foot something, really short, red hair, beady little eyes, she looked like a freaking troll. Um, but she had a full on red goatee, I swear. And she didn't do anything about it. That's what I don't understand, is why women don't... Some women just don't do anything about it. Um, because that's the first thing I care about. Um, but at the same time, it helps us pass a little bit. But anyway, um, yeah, I do pass um, pretty well. Because I have... Um, the hair on my face has gotten a lot lighter. The hair underneath... Has not. Um, it's still pretty dark, uh, but hair on my face itself is much lighter, um, and I, you know, I, I do pants. Um, but at the same time, um, I'll, I'll walk around on the street with you know a one day's hair growth, and people won't won't even you know bat an eye. They won't call me sir or anything. I haven't been called sir. In God knows how long, well, from people outside my family, um, but anyway, um, what also helps is the fact that I am a little bit overweight, okay, not a little bit overweight, I am overweight, um, and contrary to what my, one of my doctors said, one of my doctors basically said, oh, it helps you, it helps you pass a little better if you don't have as much weight on you. That is total and complete bull. She's just, um, she just ended up being, she's a little bit, um, I'd say she's a little bit, um, you know, uh, she, she discriminates, um, against people who have a lot of weight, and she doesn't do, uh, surgery on people who, uh, who do have a lot of weight on them, um, but, because I do, the fat moves to the right areas, bone structure doesn't show as much, so, you know, I pass. Um, and, oh, sorry, I just kicked my friend in the foot. But, as you can tell, these are real. These are 100% real now. Um, A38C, and that definitely helps. Um, even if I'm not wearing a bra or anything, they're still there, and they help pass. Um, I pa I, I've passed for a long time, even when I didn't even try. 
Um, frankly, I've, all, I've always had breasts of some sort, so that kind of helped. Um, but and I've always always had, you know, bigger hips than some. Um, but at the same time, I, I didn't pass all the time, and it's it's frustrating because I worked as Julia since uh, February of uh, 2001 and I wasn't on hormones or anything so my upper body was a little bit was a bit bigger and you know my stomach was a bit bigger and um, I didn't I, I had to wear fake stuff and um, I had to wear more makeup than I do now and it really it was tough I had to go through a lot more of a ritual at the beginning of the day um, to actually pass. Um, but a lot of people, it was funny, my first, my absolute first day working as Julia, um, I was at, at Boston Market and I remember I was wiping the tables down in the dining room what the little kid. yep I was working I was wiping the tables down in the dining room and at the time I was using this really bad makeup um, and I'm not even gonna tell you what it is because don't even go and get it uh, but I was I I was I had been taught you know whenever you're wiping down the tables and there are people sitting out there walk up to them say how's everything how's your food is there anything we can do to help if they have any problems um like if and also if they're like you know uh senior citizens you can offer to take their stuff to the trash you can offer to you know just just to be nice um and to make it a nicer experience for them so there was a family with um i think it was a husband and wife or kid or i forget i think it was two women um, uh, two friends or something, and two kids. One was a girl, probably, I guess, around 10. The other one was a boy who was about, I'd say about five, and walked up to the table, and the young boy looked at me and, and pointed, and I was like, that's a boy! Yeah, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, how is everything? <laughs> and the mother just went, shot a look at the kid and was like, don't. Knew that the kid had said something bad and, and had, and had um, embarrassed her. Um, so I, I got stuff like that every once in a while from people, and it's tough. It's tough to deal with that. Um, the more and more I've been on hormones, the more and more I've gotten, I, I, I haven't gotten anything like that. Well, the less and less I've gotten at that, I should say. And frankly, I'm quite happy about that. Um, you know, yeah, that's, I'm trying to get this in the right spot. There we go. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with everything, and it does help me pass. I mean, I've even taken pictures um, for, you know, for certain people um, in, um, you know, lingerie and stuff, and they can't even, they don't even know in, until I, you know, take off my panties. They don't even, they can't even tell anymore. So it's gotten to that point even. Um, and so, I mean... There's one thing that most transsexuals have problems with, male to female specifically, is the side view, is the profile. Um, and that's why I'm gonna end up having, um, you know, surgery eventually to take care of that kind of thing, especially in my nose, and big ass Jew nose. Um, I, I, my, my family always said, you know, you were born with a big nose and we thought you'd grow into it. It just grew with you. I was like, mm-hmm, it just grew with me, and I want to get rid of it. So that's the, that's going to be one of the first surgeries I get once I actually have money um, to do it. 
and um, yeah, so it's relatively easy for me to pass now, but there are people who can't pass no matter what, and more for the male to female than female to male, and it is, it's very interesting to go to, let's just say, um, a meeting of some sort, um, like a, um, like a support group, and you meet people who, their makeup is great, they, they dress great, they have, you know, they have impeccable style, they, they, you know, present themselves really well, but at the same time, you look at them and you go, okay, no chance, um, there's no chance that they're gonna pass, um, but that should not be a problem in this world, but it is. Um, as much as we're taught not to um, judge a book by its cover, yeah, we do. Um, we always judge books by, by their cover, and no matter what, um, no matter what we do, there's no way that we can stop that. Um, and frankly, it's sad. These people are happy with themselves, but it's the world that kind of, you know, brings them down a bit, and that's one thing that I really, really hate about this world, and it has, and it's, you know, the bullying and, and, and that kind of stuff, um, that, that goes into it, so, um, that's the kind of thing that we, that, that, we kind of need to work on and need to educate about is that if people are happy, who gives a shit what they look like? But, you know, our world is, is still not like that. I mean, look at how Obama is being treated. And mainly, in my opinion, because he's, you know, he's black. Especially in the South. So, I mean, people still, even in this day and age, look at the cover and say, whoa, what the hell? And judge accordingly. So, anyway, um, I will talk to you later on my next video. Alright, and um, see ya.